Hi, I'm Lathan Snyder, pastor at Seabreeze Ministries. I preached a message this past Sunday uh, entitled, Get Your Shoes On. And I just wanted to give a, a real quick recap of what that message was about, uh, kind of condense it to just a few minutes, um, and then share it with you. So Exodus chapter 12 gives us the, the, the chapter of the Passover, when God gives this message to Moses that he is going to send forth the death angel and the only way to be protected from, from death, from this, this judgment of God, is if the blood of the lamb is on the doorposts of their homes. And so God institutes the Passover. And he tells him in verse 11, he says that they were to take this lamb that was to be taken amongst them. It was to be kept and then it was to be slain. It was to be prepared properly. Its blood was to be struck on the doorposts of their home. And of course, God said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So he says in verse 11, he says, and you will eat it with your loins girded, with your shoes on your feet, your staff in your hand, and you will eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. And so in this message, I entitled it, Get Your Shoes On, because God told Moses that they were to eat the Passover with a, an expectation of leaving. And no one likes to be caught off guard. Nobody likes to be caught uh, un prepared or in in, 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 a, in a vulnerable position unaware like being stuck barefoot if if there was a, a situation that happened and you had to take off quickly you would want your shoes on you, you would want to be prepared you'd want to have uh, you, you know your coat on you don't want to be caught off guard someone knocking on your door saying hurry I need your help and you're standing there you know barefoot in your bathrobe Nobody would want to be in that situation. We, if we knew ahead of time, we would be prepared. We would be ready. We'd have our shoes on. Our, we'd be fully dressed. Our coat would be on. And God gave that same instruction to Moses. That when they ate this Passover, they were to eat it in a position of being ready to go. And that is the position that the church is called to be in right now. Having our shoes on ready and, and, and waiting. That's what Jesus, in, in the parable of the ten virgins, and, and many of his instructions to the church, he tells us, in everything that we're doing, be doing it with an expectation of a sudden return, a sudden uh, coming of the Lord, that we are to be ready, not caught off guard, not unaware. And this message I hope to encourage you, when you, when you see the, the, the things going on around us in the world, I know no, there's nothing new under the sun, but we also know from the Word that the Bible says, in the last days, many of the things that we're seeing right now happening are taking place, and it was foretold. I believe 100% that we are living in the last hour of the church age. The age of grace is very soon to come to an end. I believe according to the Bible, and when I just read the Bible, and, 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 and I expect the Holy Spirit to interpret it to me, to, to implant it in my heart, and my spirit, I believe that we are living in the last hour of the church, and that the rapture of the church is very soon to, to take place, the, the, the catching away is soon to happen, and after that, this world will be left in absolute turmoil as they are left to the wrath of God, according to, the, to what the Bible tells us. The seven-year tribulation will quickly begin. For, so for saying all of that, I say, are your shoes on? Are you ready? Are you prepared right now, sitting with your shoes on your feet, spiritually speaking, your coat on, your staff in your hand, you're eating it in haste, so that when the Lord comes, when the Lord calls, when He says it's time to leave Egypt, we're all ready and, and, and set to go. I'm afraid there's going to be a lot of people, the Bible would say, who would say, Lord, Lord, didn't I do this in your name? Didn't I do this and that? Didn't we prophesy? And the Lord will say, depart from me. I never knew you, you worker of iniquity. 
five virgins were wise, five were foolish. The foolish ones were not prepared. They didn't have their, their lamps lit. They didn't have enough oil in their lamps. And they went and knocked at the door after it, the door had been closed. The wise were already in. And they knocked at the door and said, Open up unto us. And they were not permitted. Are your shoes on? Are you ready to go? Have you prepared your heart for the coming of the Lord? If you haven't given your heart to Jesus Christ, if there is sin in your life and you have not surrendered it to God, I want to tell you right now, now is the time for salvation. It's not, you're not going to have time to get ready. You have to be ready right now. You can't say to yourself, well, I'll do it at the end. That, that's foolishness. You are not promised your next breath. You're not promised tomorrow. If you're not right with God, I want, to, I want to beg you, I want to beseech you to surrender your heart to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Turn your life over into the hands of God. Believe the Holy Word of God. Believe the Scriptures. Jesus Christ came, born of a virgin, fully God and fully man, in order to take upon himself the sins of the world. He gave his life at the cross, his blood was the sacrifice. His body became that, that Paschal Lamb. The same Passover that they had to do here, Jesus Christ is our eternal Passover. And if you accept Him as your Lord and Savior, you accept His sacrifice for you, His atoning work for you, you call upon His name and ask Him to forgive you, He will be your Lord and Savior. He will wash your sins away. The Bible says He'll take your sins, though they be as scarlet, and he'll make them white as snow. He'll cast your sins as far as the east is from the west. He will remember them no more. That is the promise that God gives. The grace of God to all who will call upon the name of the Lord. And I'm telling you, right now, we are in that time of grace. But I believe it's coming to a close. I believe the Lord's return is soon. So won't you call upon him today? Make sure that you're ready. Make sure that you're prepared. Get your shoes on. God bless you. We love you.